Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, uh, I am uh, at the schoolyard that's close to my house to do a little test with the DJI Mini 3 Pro today. Uh, one of the issues that I've had with this drone is focus issues. In other words, when it autofocuses, if it's looking at something close up uh, and then has to readjust the focus, Sometimes it doesn't re refocus at all, and sometimes there's a big delay. And honestly, I've had a lot of footage that's just been ruined because you can't see when you're looking at the screen that it's just a little bit out of focus. Then you look at the uh, video off the SD card, and it's very soft, it's out of focus. Now, my friend Ron Brown will tell you, well, tap to focus every time, which I think is smart and a good idea. Uh, but one of the things that I noticed after the last firmware update, and I've got it going here so I can read it off to you, uh, on the aircraft itself, and this is on so I can read this, 01.00.0450, uh, and then uh, on the DJI RC, we're still on app version 1.9.4 of the Fly app. Now in iOS, that's already on uh, 1.9.5. However, on the RC Pro and on the DJI RC, it's still on, and I believe on Android, it's still on 1.9.4. So the RC is on 01.02.0400, uh, just so that you know what the RC firmware is as well. And I've noticed with the, R, the DJI RC, typically when it updates the firmware on the remote, is when it updates the firmware on the Fly app. In other words, I have not seen a way to update the Fly app independently of firmware for the whole remote. On the DJI RC Pro, you can do that. Uh, you can update the Fly app independent of the firmware on the remote. Uh, but neither one of them have been updated to that 1.9.5 yet. I know that's a lot of numbers, but I just wanted to tell you what we're, what we're dealing with here so you'd know what I'm talking about. Now with regard to focus, what I noticed, the last flight that I did after this update, the drone seemed to, I thought my focus looked better. So that's just anecdotal, uh, and, and I don't know if it's because of the firmware update, if it's something that they addressed, because in these firmware updates, you know, they're very vague in what they tell you, right? They'll just tell you something like, you know, we, we uh, uh, repaired known issues or corrected known issues or, or something like that. So you never know really what they did, and that could be one of them. So the object of this flight today is we're going to try this out. We're going to fly it up close to things where it's focused in close, and then we're going to pick it up and we'll see how that autofocus works. Uh, I'm not going to tap to focus. Plus, while we're flying, I'm going to show you how you can set the focus to infinity, if you wish, and really then you don't have to worry about it. But I prefer to leave it on autofocus because then if you're looking at something close, it gets a sharper focus on whatever's in close, and then you get that, that perfect, uh, what they call bokeh, behind it, where everything behind it's a little blurry. So whatever you're looking at up close looks better and is clearly the, the, uh, the object or the point of interest in that picture. Uh, so in any case, let's quit messing around. Uh, let me get this guy up in the air and, and we'll give it a shot and we'll see what we can find out with regard to autofocus on the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Hey, okay, I got a mixed bag to report. Uh, so I've looked at the footage off of the uh, SD card on the drone. A couple things you'll see at first, uh, as, it, uh, as we first take off, I put my phone in front of it. Doesn't really focus on that. Then as I turn it around to look at me and I get in close, I'm a little bit blurry. Uh, so it never really focused on me, but it was focused on infinity pretty good so that's a good thing so then I took it up to the cell phone tower and I got really close to it and got one there's one shot there and you'll see it I got really close to the top of one of the individual antennas and it focused in on it perfectly and then as soon as I picked up the camera it focused back on infinity which is exactly what you want it to do I took it over the school across the street focused good on the roof as soon as I picked it up infinity focus very good uh, took it back, uh, did some other things, came by my uh, Chevy Tahoe, I flew over the top of the roof. It didn't really focus close up on top of my car. 
neither here nor there. Uh, but then I got it in front of the uh, school bus sign, uh, and you'll see as I get really close, man, it snaps that thing into focus and looks really good. But then as soon as I picked it up uh, and flew out, it took it a second to refocus uh, back into infinity. That's about it. Let's quit messing around and let you guys look at the footage. Okay, uh, we're good to go to take off here. You can see we're down to 59% battery. I charged this battery several days ago. It's one of the extended batteries, uh, so we'll see how it does. I am looking right off the bat and I can see that uh, the I set my camera down in front of the drone so it would focus on it and it is not in focus. It may be too close, but I'm going to click on the autofocus on the app and see what it does and it and it didn't bring it into focus so I am gonna tap to focus it may be too clip maybe that that's too close so I'm gonna move the phone a little bit further out okay so I moved the phone further out it doesn't look to me like it's still in focus and I see it switch to manual focus uh, and I, I think it that's probably when I tapped it earlier so let's switch it back to autofocus and honestly, I can't tell <laughs> if it's focused. I'll, I'll say this. I've taken off on the grass before, and I've seen the blades of grass in very sharp focus before. So uh, I'm not sure why it wouldn't. Well, in fact, I'm going to do the trick uh, half-pressing the camera switch to start focus. And, uh, you know, I'm looking at the RC. I can't tell if that thing's in focus or not. But anyway, let's, uh, let's quit messing around. Let's go ahead and take off. Uh, I am going to switch to uh, 4K 30 frames per second, or excuse me, 60 frames per second, uh, because we want to tax the processor as much as we can. I found that I had more issues with focus in 60 frames per second than I did in 30, so that's what we want to try. Let's go ahead and start recording. And I did that uh, on the uh, on the. Uh, app <laughs> so uh, so let's go ahead and do an auto takeoff here and uh, and and we'll bring it in and and take a look so on the app and it's telling us that and it shuts off Wi-Fi etc all the warnings that DJI gives us uh, we're in uh, we're on the flight path to the Boise Airport, so it always gives us that 150 meter uh, limit, which uh, honestly, uh, you know, we can only go up as high as 120 meters, so I, I, I always complain about that. I'm not sure what that's about. But let's bring the drone in nice and close here, and we're probably gonna have to turn off uh, obstacle avoidance to do that. So let me switch off obstacle avoidance off. We are probably not going to want obstacle avoidance because we're going to start getting close to stuff. And I hear a helicopter off in the distance, but he's way up there and, and way to the south of us. But anyway, let's bring this guy in so that hopefully it will focus uh, on me. And I think it is. I think it's focused on me well. And uh, yeah, well, as I was getting ready to do our droney, but as is typical in these situations, there's nobody at the park till I'm getting ready to fly that direction. So we're gonna let them go by, and once they're once they're by here, we'll do our droney. Okay, I think I can avoid them now. So what I want you to watch here is does the drone refocus into infinity when we do our droney? Reverse and up now. And we're reversing back. And let's drop that camera down. And you can see those people walking out there in the, on the grass. They were clear on the other end of the field when I started filming. And here is our famous cell phone tower. And I'm not doing any tap to focus now. We're just going to see how this camera can focus by itself. Let's move in on the cell phone tower and I'm going to put it in cinema mode so that I get good slow movements and we're going to move in on that guy and we're going to get in very close and we're going to see we're going to see what the focus looks like and I won't necessarily be able to tell by looking at the uh, DJI RC while I'm flying 
And, uh, you know, I, yeah, I am, uh, I am definitely, let's, uh, I'm going to move around the other side of this thing. See if we can get around the other way and move around. And I think, it looks to me like we got pretty sharp focus there. And I'm looking at the drone, it looks like we're really close. We are not as close uh, as it looks in this video, because I'm looking at the drone and we're a good distance away from this guy. Uh, but uh, anyway, let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Let's move in on it. And the focus looks pretty sharp to me. Let's go up and drop that camera down as we go. Let's kind of go over the top of it here. This is what guys would be doing if they were doing tower inspections. But instead, we're just, uh, we're just doing a little focus inspection here. So it looks to me like we have really sharp focus there. I'm going to uh, move around here to where I'm pointed at the Boise Mountains. And then we'll pick the camera up and we'll see if it refocuses. In fact, I'm gonna drop down lower now. I'm telling you guys, I am watching the drone, so, so don't panic. I am looking right at the drone, and I know it looks like we're real close, but I have my eyes on the drone, and it is not as close as it looks. Uh, and, you know, look at that. I mean, we're looking at the top of that one antenna, and it looks really sharply focused to me. So, okay, let's, let's pick up that camera. And let's see now if it, uh, what kind of focus we get off into the distance. And I can tell you that just looking, when I'm just looking at the, uh, at the camera here, and I'm gonna go back into normal mode, just looking at the FPV display, it looks really sharp. So, you know, I'm cautiously optimistic here that our focus issues are a thing of the past, and I don't think, uh, I don't think anybody can say that we didn't, uh, we didn't get close in. So, so we can kind of, there's a lot of trees here, so I guess I'm a little bit nervous about getting too low there because I don't know exactly uh, how close those trees are, but, uh, but we can do some things here. We can go, we can get down low on the roof here and we can look down. You can see the shadow of the drone there. We can look down at the, uh, at the roof here and we got we got it that looks really sharp to me it looks like it's very clear and very in focus uh, and let me pick up the camera and look out off into the distance and you know I can see the playground equipment it looks really sharp I'm looking at the uh, I'm looking at the mountains off in the distance and it all looks good to me. And again, we're shooting in 4K, 30 or 60 frames per second, which is where I had uh, most of the problem. So I'm just gonna say, anecdotally, uh, just me looking at what I can see on the FBV screen without looking at the uh, video off the SD card, I'm thinking it looks really good. Let's, uh, let's bring it back in and there's a couple other things that I'd like to try here and we can see how it looks. We can move off this direction a little bit. Let's look down. We can get down low here a little bit. And again, you know, what we're trying to do is challenge different things on the focus. Yeah, there's somebody there with their dog, so we're gonna stay out of their way, but uh, Let's, uh, let, we're, we're kind of facing into the sun here, so I don't know how that'll affect it either as far as from a focus perspective, but let's go ahead and bring it back. And we can kind of uh, focus in on the cell phone tower again as we come back and, and see if we have any issues there. Picking up that camera just a little bit. Going back into cinema mode so I can slow it down a little. And looking into the sun, and we're getting pretty close to that thing and it looks very sharply in focus to me.
Looks very, very sharp. Okay, back in normal mode. Uh, let's kick it up and bring it forward. And we're going to fly right over the top of me. Let's get down a little bit lower over the top of the school here. And we can kind of look down and see how that looks. Again, uh, this is the medical arts school right here, and this is the Meridian Technical High School in front of us here. And, you know, like I said, the, I, I, I'm just looking at the uh, FPV screen here, but the focus looks awful sharp to me. So I'll be able to tell more as, uh, as you know, when I look at the video off the SD card. Okay, we're going to grab some altitude, turn around again. There were some people with some RC cars out here earlier, and I wish I would have uh, gotten the air sooner. We could have uh, taken a look at some of that. But uh, I got something I want to, uh, another test here that I think will work pretty good. Let's bring it down lower. Heck, we can bring it down right down here. And we got OA off. I got to remember that. It isn't going to stop or isn't going to do anything. It's all up to me to move it. But there's my car. And uh, yeah, let's go back into cinema mode here. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's bring it over the top and see how it looks here. So it's focused on the top of the car. And it's right over the top of the car. I'm looking at that. And now let's pick it up, pick up that camera. And how does it look, uh, you know, let's say, let's, let's move in on that sign there and see how it looks on the sign. Let's see if we can zero right in on the, uh, on the bus stops, the loading and unloading sign there. And we're going to get real close to that. And that, you know, I mean, I can tell just by looking at the sign, it is very sharply in focus. Uh, so I'm happy with what I'm seeing here. And again, you know, like I said, a lot of the other stuff, when I would fly, I'd do a whole flight, particularly at higher altitudes, and I couldn't tell that the focus was so soft. Let's get in here really close. Let's move in on this guy. Keep moving in until we're kind of filling the frame. By golly, that's pretty sharp. The drone is right in front of me on that loading and unloading sign. Okay, now let's pick it up and let's see if the, what's off in the distance is in focus. And it is. At least from what I can tell uh, on the FPV screen here. Okay, so there's one other thing that I want to show you how to do. Let's, uh, before we run out of battery here. Uh, let's, uh, let's put this guy into manual focus. And I can show you how to put it into infinity. So let's, we'll move in on the uh, cell phone tower again. And again, I'm, I'm looking at the drone and I know it looks like we're right on top of it. Uh, but you know, I'm looking at the drone and we are some distance away, although I'm seeing the uh, obstacle avoidance uh, radar going off. Okay, so let's slip, switch it into manual focus. So on the uh, right-hand side there where it says AF, I'm going to touch that, and it uh, that's going into distant. So maybe that's something they add, added. I was trying to switch it into manual focus. I wonder if I have to stop recording to do that. Uh, so what I'm looking at there, I'm going to have to look that up, guys. When I'm seeing those mountains, that tells me that it, maybe that's just a way to get it to focus on infinity uh, just that way. But I'm going to stop recording and see if I can put it into manual focus, autofocus. Maybe that's, see, see, I had manual focus on there before, so I don't know. I'll, let me switch to that, and I'm going to touch the screen, tap to focus, 
I'm going to have to do a little more research there. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. Why isn't that switching to manual focus? I'm going to take a picture here, do the half press. There, okay, that did it. That put it into manual focus for me. So if I if I hold that manual focus down, uh, I can I can uh, I can I've got a slider here, and you can see me changing the focus. And the closer I get to the top, that's infinity focus. So that's what that is. If you see that, you can see those two mountains there. So it has a way that you can switch it instantly into uh, infinity focus. So that's good to know. Uh, so let me hold that down again. Oh yeah, okay, so, so to switch to manual focus, you just hold it down. So you can see what I'm doing there. I'm just sliding it, uh, and, uh, and it's out of focus. So, so let's see, let's see, we're gonna, let's move in closer to this guy and see if we can, where it gets to get it in focus. And, and I'm looking at the drone here, so I'm staying away from the tower. And it wants to return home, but we don't need to do that just yet. So let's go ahead and see if we can bring that into focus. And there we can. And that is, that, believe it or not, even that close, it's almost at infinity. Anyway, let's go back into autofocus. But anyway, you get the idea. Uh, that's how that manual focus is. And what I was doing wrong there is that you have to actually hold your finger on that button. I was thinking that you tapped it. You don't. You have to hold your finger. It shows how often I use uh, manual focus, and I am going to turn uh, obstacle avoidance. It really wants to come home. I'm going to turn obstacle avoidance back on. And of course, shooting in 60 frames per second. I'm going to start recording again, and uh, it wants to come back. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, hit return to home on the app. And it should switch around, and it's just going to hold its altitude because uh, it's close enough to us, and it's going to come back. We're down to, what, 19% battery, so. Uh, anyway, so you th I apologize for stumbling around on that manual focus, uh, but uh, uh, I, I think that infinity thing, I believe that's something new, because I don't remember that there before. If, uh, you know, I'm typically... Dr. Automatic and I, I leave things in autofocus so I don't mess around with that much. But if anybody else in the, in the uh, comments can remembers those, uh, auto, those two mountains, the infinity focus, let me know. And we're going to be a little bit off from the, uh, from the landing pad here, but uh, there she is. That's the little drone and we can tell it to look up here. So, uh, and we're on the ground. Okie dokie, let me get everything shut down and we'll do a quick conclusion. And as I always say, don't forget to stop recording and uh, stop the screen recording. That way you don't corrupt a file. Hey, this is the first chance I've had to fly in quite a while. So I'm pretty stoked just to get the chance to fly a drone today. Our weather has been, uh, as my friends in the UK say, pants for quite some time. Uh, but today we got a blue sky day, a little bit of a breeze, but not bad. It's about 50 degrees out. Man, it almost feels like summertime, right? Uh, it's not going to last though. Tomorrow we're supposed to get rain by the middle of the week, potentially more s snow. So, uh, you know, you got to get out and fly when you get the chance. Uh, but this is a test that I've been wanting to do for a while. And I believe uh, that we came out pretty good on this one. Just what I could see on the first person view screen, the FPV screen on the controller. I mean, the focus looked really good. I'll get a much better view of it when I take that SD card and take a look at it. Uh, but I think we challenged it in a lot of ways. Uh, now, I stumbled around a little bit on the, uh, when I was showing you how to do the manual focus, but you got the idea. The part that I never remembered seeing before was the little mountains. In other words, just the one tap to put it into infinity focus. That's pretty cool. That's a great idea. Uh, the secret with that manual focus is you have to hold your finger on the, on the button there, and then you can scroll it uh, up and down. I was looking for it, the, the little scroll part to be off to the side. It's not shows how often I use manual focus 
In other words, never. I'm always in autofocus, and that's why it's so important to me. So I'm thinking that last uh, .0450 firmware update uh, may have had something to do with correcting that quick autofocus, because uh, it seems to be working good now. I, that's just a guess because they don't really tell us in the in the firmware update notes uh, but anyway as long as it's working what do we care right so I think it's definitely an improvement uh, I guess that's about it this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho quadcopter channel out and if you like this kind of content please consider subscribing to my channel uh, most of all I appreciate you taking the time to look at this video and of course we will see you on the next one uh, gosh, springtime now, hopefully soon. Get out and fly if you got the chance. See you guys later. The uh, DJI Mini 3 Pro. Pretty cool little drone. See ya.